Okay, so today I'm going to show you guys how to use OBS with Reaper uh, to re actually record your DAW. So if you wanted to do a tutorial on a plugin or show somebody something, this is the good way to do it. So the first thing I'm going to say, I had a little trouble with uh, this desktop audio and the mic audio or mic aux. So I just muted it. I uh, just hit them both to mute. So the first thing you're going to do in this situation, you want to download your OBS uh, Ozio driver uh, as well as your Reaper, of course. So we'll go to the internet here and you'll go to Reaper and download whatever version uh, you need. So I need Windows. I already have this downloaded. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and show you guys super fast download. Go ahead and double click it. And it's letting me know my Reaper is running. So I'm going to ignore that. I'm going to hit agree, uh, hit next, tell me where it's going to save it. Again, uh, it tells me it's running. I'm going to ignore that. I'm going to hit yes to the install there. Again, it's telling me it's running. I'm going to ignore that. The reason I did all that is because I wanted to get you guys to this little box here. So underneath optional functionality, there's a little plus sign right off to the left side of it. Select that, and then underneath that, uh, little becomes like this little drop menu and you'll see Rhea route Ozio driver make sure during your installation that you select Rhea route Ozio driver and then hit install I don't need to do that so I'm gonna hit cancel because uh, I've already done that so then you'll go over to github and we will download the OBS Ozio version 3.1.1 driver uh, it's down here you'll select that uh, again, once it um, downloads, you'll want to install that, and then you're done with the internet. I'll also include the links uh, in the description of this video here. So, once all that's installed, you'll want to go over to your master fader and go to the routing. Select the routing. Go to add new hardware output. Scroll down until you see... Rhea Route 1, Rhea Route 2. Select those. I've already done this, so I'm not going to select those. And then you'll go into OBS. So, inside OBS, you can see I already have an Osio input capture. I, I'm going to add another one just to show you how that works. So, under Sources, you're going to right-click, like here in the box, and it'll show you a little box that uh, pops up saying Add. You'll go to Osio Input Capture. It already put a 2 at the end of this title. That's cool with me. Now, the important part uh, is this device part. So it'll drop down, have a little drop down menu, and you want to select Rhea Route Osio. Um, just like that. And you used to be able to select the channels right from here, but. In this version, for some reason, it's not letting us do that, so go ahead and hit OK. Now, it, you can see it added my, uh, my track here, but there's no sound coming through. So, select the three dots right underneath it, so it would be underneath Audio Mixer, and then your title, whatever you named it, mine is Ozio Input Capture 2. Select those three dots, and go to Properties. Now you're able to send it to whatever channel you want. So we're going to go ahead and send this to Rhea Route Reaper Client 1. And the second one to Rhea Route Reaper Client 2. Hit OK. Now you can see there's two versions going on here and I sound like a robot. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to get rid of the first one that I added. So remove. And now I sound normal again. And it also renamed it for me. It took the two off there. Again, I keep, I keep the desktop audio and the mic audio muted. Because if you don't, you're going to get this weird sound when you're recording your guitar. One side's going to sound like a DI, which is no affected sound at all. And the other side is going to sound like your affected sound. That's with your guitar. That's what I've experienced so far. So what we want to do here, you can already see that you're getting audio from my voice into your input capture. But you want to test everything else out. So let's go ahead and test out the guitar. Or I'm sorry, let's test out the drums first. So 
So you can see there that the drums are coming through. They were making noise, and you could see the meter moving here. So now let's go ahead and test out the guitars. Make sure those work for us. <laughs> And they're working pretty good. Uh, everything sounds great. Again, I'm just going to say it one more time. Make sure you have your desktop audio and the mic aux muted, or else you're going to get some funky sounding stuff. Um, but if you follow those instructions, you should be able to record your screen inside your Reaper doll. Uh, no problem. Now, real quick, I do want to do a little shout out here. Uh, Solemn Tones Mjolnir drums. I love their drums. They sound great. And uh, if you can afford to buy them, they're, they're not very expensive. I think it's like 60 bucks or something like that. I'm not sure. I, I haven't checked them out for a while. But great sounding drums for the price. Menace from Joey Sturge's Tones. It's one of my favorite amps. It's a very high gain amp. I didn't actually pull the gain back on that. I probably should have a little bit. But, I mean, this thing can do anything you want from rock music to metal music, whatever you're looking for. Um and I pair that up with uh, one of their other plugins called Desucculator. They don't actually sell this one anymore. Uh, it was kind of like a, I want to say a joke plugin or something at first, but I absolutely love this plugin and I use it in every single session with my guitars, especially with high gain amps. It cuts out the 4K. So if you were lucky enough to get that plugin, it's a pretty cool plugin um, and you are awesome. <laughs> and Let's go ahead and talk about Bus Glue Vocals. That's also a Joey Sturgis Tones plugin. I really love this uh, plugin. I couldn't record without it. I feel like it's just part of my workflow and uh, it, it gets me where I need to be. I'm using an SM7B right now without a cloud lifter and I basically feel like I owe it to Bus Glue Vocals. Also, the preamps on a Focusrite is pretty awesome. So, there's that also. And then. Over here, uh, the Kilo Hearts plugins, they have a whole like pack of plugins that are free. Great tools to use. I'm using their gate right now. Absolutely free. Uh, and uh, if you have a chance, uh, head over to their website and um, pick it up. I'll try to put a link to every single thing I'm using here uh, in the description if you wanted to go ahead and download that stuff. But I want to say thank you. Uh, for sticking with me through this tutorial. I have an older tutorial up if you're using an older version of um, OBS. Just remember, because for some reason I forgot to mention it, uh, you have to download that OBS driver, uh, Ozio driver. So again, I'll put that link in the description. And uh, if you guys have any questions at all regarding this, uh, please let me know. Make sure, please, that you have that desktop uh, let's just make, let me make sure I'm saying it right. Make sure you have that desktop audio muted and make sure you have that mic, uh, audio muted as well. All right. Thank you guys so much.